As of today, NBA 2K23 has been out for around three weeks now. Let me know in the comment section down below what you would rate this game out of 10. 1 through 10, let me know in the comment section. But so far, I've figured out that the game is very balanced. Not a lot of people are going to beat me if I'm playing on top of my game. If you want to use, for example, Hall of Fame Anchor, you have to have a 99 block. If you want to use Glove, you have to have a 99 steal. So a lot of the badges are very balanced and make sense. But then... As you see today, I'm on my 99 overall shot creator that has a 98 ball handle. I made it to dribble very good because, they're, you know, how stamina is this year. So I made a build so that I could dribble a lot, basically. And it kind of turned out to be kind of like a play shot. On accident, I gave it a 78 driving lip, which you see gives me Hall of Fame Pro Touch. And as you guys know that have been watching, if you're not... You need to hit that subscribe button. The Hall of Fame Pro Touch is very good. So I'm able to get a lot of good things on this build. But anyway, into the playmaking badge, I'm able to get Hall of Fame Clamp Breaker. This badge right here improves a player's ability to fight off contact, protect the ball, and drive by opponents as the ball handler. So it's kind of like a second version of Unpluckable on top of that. Now, as you see, you have to have a 96 ball handle to use it on hall of fame but for gold you only need it on 87 so a lot of builds are going to be able to use this badge right here and it pops up a lot but the coolest thing about this build is very few people have enough ball handle to use it on hall of fame i made this build simply so i could use these hall of fame badges right here you see killer combos gets 97 and mismatch expert is 98 which is the highest in playmaking possible so drop a like on this video man because i literally made this build basically for content and to dribble and let's get into it and now a word from our sponsors prize picks is simple and easy as long as you have sports knowledge you're going to be able to make lots of cash by just downloading prize picks as you see you can do nfl whatever you want passing yards rushing yards interceptions you can bet on people having a good game or a bad game so let's say we pick kirk cousins and andy dalton it says 260 yards is what he's projected for we're gonna say okay he's gonna pass for more andy dalton 220 he's gonna pass for more that's all you have to do as long as they both hit you win 60 bucks off a 20 dollar entry and then you can change it to whatever you want and if you use my link in the description to sign up you will get a 100 percent deposit match of up to a hundred dollars thank you prospects let's get into the video so i finally finished my 100 rec win season quest it's a part of the quest you have to do to hit legend and i have so many highlights to show you also some part gameplays of clamp breaker it is insane as you see it literally pushes you off it gives you so many different animations we accidentally matched up versus laker fan which was a crazy close game and look at this this is versus a pro-am team that plays a lot of pro-am together they got good chemistry watch boom right off the center fade just like that so this is a badge you can use in a competitive scene as well this is going to be a must-have badge in 2k23 you're going to be using this badge now before everyone else gets onto it i think it could be definitely one of if not the best badge in 2k23 there's so many different animations it's going to give you that throws people off you and it's not just throwing people off you into the ground but it does help you not get clamped as much too for their clamps to activate sometimes you get an even so instead of them getting a clamps animation they get nothing now 2k labs did post a video on this and they did a study of hall of fame clamp breaker and stuff like that so let's pull it up right here as you see even with just bronze versus gold you're gonna get 14 percent blow buys versus gold and 20 percent hip rods instead of just getting clamped up 100 percent but hall of fame is 44 percent blow by 30 percent hip rod so you're gonna see the power of it today in my video probably for the first time because like i said very few people have enough high ball handle to do this and that's pretty much why i made this build to dribble and to get those exclusive badges to show you guys what it looks like on 2k23 but you see right away this build i played like 15 20 games of it on the twos court and i was scared before i got on because i'm six foot one with a 60 perimeter defense i have nothing else but a 60 perimeter d and then as i was playing to make this video i figured out i'm just way too fast especially in the iso it is disgusting how fast this build is with hall of fame quick first step 96 speed with ball high acceleration and me knowing how to actually dribble you know what i'm saying but look at this right here clamp breaker look at that what bro that is actually insane i just threw him off with no regard for him now do you get these animations every single time no you do not it also depends on the defender that you're playing what is their clamps what is their perimeter defense what is their defensive stats in general but a lot of people this year 
have really skipped out. They're like, oh, I only need bronze clamps, silver clamps. Some people don't even have it on their builds. When you go up against those people, especially, real quick, as you'll see right here, I tried to just completely force the animation. You know, I'm trying to go for a video. And like I told you, it does not happen every time. But imagine if 2K Labs did a test where you have Hall of Fame clamp breaker versus someone with no clamps. You're probably going to get like, 80 percent blow buys you know what i'm saying they're very rarely going to be able to even touch you. you're just going to run right through them so this year in finishing you don't have to have high strength to run through people it's so realistic because kyrie irving just for an example that's who my my player is made after by the way uncle drew if you guys didn't know is an elite finisher at the rim but he's not going down there like the human highlight film dominique wilkins and postering on everybody you know what i'm saying so you can still finish at the rack very good this year on 2k23 without any strength but if you want strength you know bully works very good as well there's just multiple ways to go down and finish at the rim which is how basketball should B, right the most efficient shot in basketball is right at the rim now you guys see i'm really trying to force these clamp breaker animations this isn't obviously how i play at all times but it's a super good badge now for this play style right here you could say you don't really need hall of fame clamp breaker badge yes you don't necessarily need hall of fame but it really does help out a lot especially when you're playing better skilled people like i'm trying to get it right there and i can't because he's just not guarding me and i'm just way too fast as you've seen i tried to force a lot of the animations and i just couldn't get it because he couldn't even keep up with me that's how good this build was i went like 20 and 0 today on the twos recording for this gameplay because the build is so fast and the offense is elite so if you're very good on offense yeah you can run it but i do not advise you guys to go out there on a build with literally basically no defense at all and try to streak up i'm just saying that it was actually pretty fun being in the iso with a super fast build and it worked out pretty good so as you guys seen from the intro i'm also able to use killer combos on hall of fame and mismatch expert on hall of fame with this build let me know in the comment section down below which is the one you want to see next now i'm probably going to do a video on both but let me know which one you guys want to see next and i'm not sure how good those badges are i have used killer combos a few times i haven't used it on hall of fame yet it's pretty good it's got like tight handles in it it could become a problem later on in the year we will see but i don't know man clamp breaker if i had to choose between all three i have used all three but i haven't used the uh, mismatch or killer combos at hall of fame i don't think i would probably pick clamp breaker as of right now until i try the matt hall of fame because like you've seen you get such crazy animations and that's how it should be right if someone doesn't upgrade their clamps and i went all the way up to a 97 98 ball handle to get a hall of fame yeah i definitely should with a super fast build be running through people as you see once again clamp breaker working extremely good i really like it i do upgrade your defense if you want to play defense that's how the game should be every attribute in this game that i've seen so far matters except standing dunk now of course if you're a you know huge seven foot two big man those elite contact standing dunks are crazy but what i mean is when i started off the year on 2k 23 136 and zero most of you guys know if you've been watching my guard had a 30 or 35 standing dunk and he was just getting standing dunks over and over so apparently you don't have to have that very high to do just constant standing dunks but what i'm trying to say is everything matters 2k labs has done tests on speed acceleration yes they don't matter as much in certain areas as people think but they still matter every single thing right now maybe speed with ball doesn't as much but every single other one matters a lot so that's what i like about this game if you are getting rim ran on you need to have high defense high anchor high chase down are you jumping at the right time you can't really just jump and pray for animations in the past yes there are some bs things where they go down and you get like an open dunk but you jump but i'm saying in general a lot this year has to do with user timing skill all that type of stuff for example passing lanes you have to be watching the guy that's dribbling in the middle of the ball in the air that's when you reach you know what i'm saying you can't just hit x anymore get back in position hit x again just keep spamming for the ball you can't do that anymore on 2k23 and that's what i really like about the game so far i think this is the best start to a 2k we've had since i don't know 2k17 2k16 as of right now me personally your opinion might be different i really like this game i've got eight builds eight builds i spent like a thousand dollars on vc ronnie 2k is going crazy in his lamborghini because of me but I'm enjoying the game and I'm making content out of it. And I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. It's your boy Badgebug. You've been plugged in. Make sure to drop a like if you haven't yet. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Click one of these two videos. And I'm out. Peace.